Does the earth move beneath your feet? Well, the earth definitely moves, whizzing around the sun and spinning as it goes. But does the solid ground on which you live and work move? Well, as you can see from this footage of an earthquake in Japan, yes, it does. But this is far more noticeable in some parts of the world than others. So how does this happen? Well, the outer layer of the earth is rigid and slides across the weaker interior layers at speeds of a few centimetres per year. The outer layer is broken into pieces called plates. Some plates are as big as an ocean, or even an ocean plus a continent, but others are smaller. Now the reason why plates are able to slide around isn't because the stuff beneath them is liquid, that's to say molten. It's because the rock beneath the plates is warm enough to be weak, even though it's solid. Each plate moves at a slightly different speed, and it's where one plate grinds against its neighbour that the effects of this movement are most likely to be noticed. When we look at a map of where earthquakes happen, the pattern of earthquakes shows us the boundaries between plates. The edges of plates are not usually able to slide past each other smoothly at a uniform, gradual rate. Instead, they're stuck most of the time, and strain builds up until the fault surface between them gives way in a sudden jerk, and the plates move past each other by several metres in one go. It's when this happens that an earthquake can occur. To discover more about the ground beneath our feet, explore our introductory science module, Questions in Science. If you enjoyed this clip, feel free to follow the links on screen for more interesting articles and free courses from the Open University.